So I showed you in a previous video on how to mine Raptorium in Windows. This video is on how to mine Raptorium in Hive OS, which is far, I think, far superior than mining in Windows. Anyway, I'm going to show you how to do it, so let's get started. So first things first, we are going to need a couple things. We're going to need a flash drive, either 8, 16 gig, or even higher if you really wanted to. Now, don't buy these cheap Chinese ones. These last for about a week, and then we'll actually die. So don't recommend this. All you need is an 8 gig and a HiveOS account. Now I'm going to go ahead and plug this USB in the hub here so we can get started setting up the ISO in HiveOS. So HiveOS is free to use. You can just create an account and then you will probably be greeted with something like this where you have to create your farm and then in there you create your workers. It's kind of like sections within sections. It's really nice to use and once you know how to use it, it can actually benefit you quite a lot. Anyway, go ahead and sign in. Next, you'll go to this URL right here. I'll have it in the description and scroll down to GPU. Click on the zip and it'll start downloading the zip file. I already have one. So I'm gonna click cancel. Now another tool you wanna use is Rufus. I like to use Rufus because that's the only one I've used. There's a couple others and they work for burning .iso files onto a USB drive. So here's our USB drive right here. It's just labeled a USB drive and uh, I'm gonna find my ISO, but first I'm gonna open Rufus. Now that we have Rufus opened, our drive is right here. You wanna make sure you have the right one. We have a 16 gig. And then we need the .iso file, so I'm going to open to the location of where I have it, which happens to be in another drive that I have here. So I'm just going to click open, and then it's going to set all the parameters for us, FAT32 default, and we can't even change anything actually. So that's to set up the USB, that's as simple as that. And it takes about, I don't know, 20-ish minutes maybe, maybe less, and as soon as that's done, we'll get, we'll get into setting it up and connecting it to your HiveOS account. All right, so it just completed burning the ISO into the file. Now the USB should re be renamed as Hive and then whatever letter you have here. Now here is where you go into your HiveOS account and you're gonna go into the farm that you have, then come over here to settings. In here, you're gonna have a farm hash and this is specifically linked to the farm, your farm that you have set up. So all you're gonna do is copy to clipboard, go back, and you see, you want to select this file right here, rig config example.txt. It's a text file. You're just going to open this with a notepad. And then you'll see this. Now, there's a lot of stuff here you don't really have to worry about except for farm hash. Remember, we just copied it. So we're just going to simply paste our farm hash right in there. For rig password, we're not going to give it a rig password because then you just have to put it in uh, whenever you want to log in to it. Um, worker name, I'm going to name this as test rig. Two, zero two. That's what I'm gonna do. Rig ID, I'm gonna leave that blank, that blank, that blank, and that blank. And here is the very important part. Go file, save as, and in the same exact drive, you're just gonna rename it as rig, just rig. And this is going to save it as a rig.txt, the text file. So now that's saved. Here it is in the Hive USB drive that we have. And this is just an example. Now, this is very specific for the config. So we have to rename this so it reads it correctly as not as a text file, but as a comp file. So that's C-O-N-F, and you're gonna do that right after the text. Now, if you don't have uh, like the, the .txt, it, it doesn't show any of that, then you're gonna have to turn that on. So if you go, if you go into view here, right here, click on file name extensions, and then it should show that. So I'm just gonna rename it here, CONF. And then once you click out of it, it says it might become unusable. Do you still want to do it? Hit yes. And for me, I have a setup that it opens in notepad anyway, but um, this is what you wanna do, and this is how you're gonna set it up. And pretty much that's all we need to do. Now we can just exit it, extract the USB, and stick it into the computer. Okay, so here's my USB. Just gonna take it out. And the computer that we're gonna be sticking this in is one of these kind of oldish Alienware gaming desktop things. It's like a small mini form factor. So I'm just gonna stick it in to one of the USB ports on the back here, just like that. And there we go. And then we're just gonna simply turn it on. Now I'm gonna add network before I do this. So here is my network cable. Here we go, HDMI is on, so we should even be able to see it here. Noted, you do not need an HDMI. 
Like for instance, the wall mounted, this one actually got changed. It is now a 5950X with a water cooled system here. And like this one, it doesn't have any display output. Now you can connect it through Hive OS. You can um, remote into it, which is really nice. See if this thing looks like all the fans are spinning and it should be booting up here. And it already booted in. Yeah, it didn't even see that. So here we go. It tells us our GPU right off the start because this is made for like GPU mining. That's what like Hive OS you're mainly gonna do, but CPU mining is as easy as anything else. So there's no flight sheet set up. Flight sheet is like the mining software setup that it, you tell it what to mine with and what to mine to. So let's go set that up. And there it is, test rig 02 has shown up on our HiveOS account. Now it says it has a GPU, but we're interested in the, uh, the i7 fourth gen that it has and seeing what it can mine with the uh, Raptorium. So once you click into it, it's gonna show the CPU temp and some other stuff like that, and also uh, the graphics card. Now, flight sheet, we need to set this up so that it, we know how to mine, what to mine with, and where to mine to. So we're gonna go back to uh, the farm here and click on flight sheet. Now, this is where you set up your flight sheet. And if you know from any of the other videos that you need a Raptorium wallet, and you can do that with Zellcore. If you don't know how to do that, there's many tutorials on how to set up Zellcore with the RTM uh, and a bunch of other stuff, even using the official RTM wallet. And to select coin, we're gonna use RTM because that's what we wanna mine with. And then your wallet, if you wanna add a wallet, it's pretty easy. Coin, you put your address in here, and the name of the wallet, okay? Make sure this is the right one. And then you just uh, select the wallet so I'm gonna select this one I already have it preset in here so I'm just gonna select that one and then here I personally like supernova some people like flock pool um, different stuff like that I'm in United States East and for here this is actually where it gets really specific and probably even doesn't even matter about this but this is where you go to you wanted the CPU miner. And this is where it gets very specific with uh, with the Hive OS. So pull URL, I'm literally gonna go search Supernova and find their address, the stratum until the port number. And I'm just gonna copy this and put it into here. I'll have that link down in the description if you want that password, keep it at X. Config override, we want this to tune. So next we're gonna do quotation marks, tune, this is lowercase, dash, full, and a quotation, colon, space, true. Just like that. And then for minor fork, uh, do GR, latest version, course, and then hit apply changes. And then that is the CPU mining all set up. And then you can name this. So I'm just gonna name this. So there we go. I have several here that I already created. Uh, some of these are mining Ethereum on the GPUs and then mining Raptorium on the CPUs. So why not? Then you're gonna go back to your worker. It doesn't have a flight sheet. We're gonna click on the flight sheet tab. And here's all the flight sheets I have ever, all of them I've ever made. Uh, here's the one that we just made, made specifically for the CPU. We're gonna click the rocket. And this is literally gonna send it over and immediately it is going to start downloading the software on the other one and uh, we'll be able to actually see how this is doing. So let's take a look. Even before I got up, it started downloading it right here. You can see all the packages getting downloaded and then unpacking them and reading them and getting it set up. So it shouldn't take too long. I do have pretty good internet here. So let's see if I can just start up here in a minute. All right, so it just started up here. As you can see, it has no tune config. So it's going to create one. And so now it's starting to benchmark. Now this can take a bit, 220 minutes remaining. So uh, before, I was getting 400 hashes, which is not profitable anymore. And RCM is at three cents, 0.03898079. It's gone down quite a bit. It used to be uh, closer to seven. Well, it was at seven, but now that it's gone down, if you go over to Minostat, which is a really cool website, 400 hashes at zero, zero. This would be 1% pool fee. And because I don't pay for electricity here, which is the best thing that you could have, I could only make $5 a month. If you factor in electricity, that would be a loss of three cents every month with a power consumption of 100 watts, which is probably more like 150, but you get my point. It's not really profitable unless you have high-end hardware like a 5950X or in this computer right back here, a 3700X, like the other main system that I have. So that's how you get it set up on uh, HiveOS. But anyway, that's pretty much it. Thank you so much for watching and maybe I'll see you in the next one.